People know that wine changes over time, but it's not necessarily in a straight line. And you put a wine down so that you hope that it will get better and better. Wine very much has a life of its own. It ebbs and it flows and it changes over time. But you know, sometimes wines in this process go through what is called a dumb phase. And the truth is there are peaks and valleys and the dumb phase of wine is probably one of the deepest valleys that you stumble into. That's when you feel like the wine is pulled in different direction and we, you lose totally the harmony. Those beautiful aromas that were there just a month ago or so are no longer there. Blank, disheveled, um, like the whole core of the wine is gone. When your teenager no longer answers your questions and they pretend like they don't hear you, Huh? That's kind of like a wine going through a dumb phase. Like having a really bad hair day. A cold streak for a great pitcher or, or baseball slugger. It's a living product, so the wines go through those happy phase and through those really unhappy phase. And as the wine lover, the big problem with it is you don't know when that's going to happen. The French have a great phrase for this. They call it an age in gras an ungracious age. It's the same expression they use for teenagehood. And just like your teenager, you're never quite sure when they're going to be back. Dumb? <laughs> I don't, because it's shorter than no nose. It's not a fault. There's nothing wrong with the wine. The wine is completely structurally intact. It's just not as nuanced and lifelike. I think the consumers should know that the wine tastes fine. It just doesn't have the aroma. Consumers don't exactly know what it means, and we have a hard time describing for them what we really mean. I've been a wine merchant for 45 years, a collector for even longer than that. I don't know of any consumers that ever brought up the word dumb wine. When I first started at Windows on the World, we only put wines on the list after they were ready to drink. We will very much take those wines off the list and let them rest, let them breathe, let them hibernate. So if a waiter serves you a wine in the dumb phase, does that make him a dumb waiter? What is it about the wine that causes it to go into this dumb phase? It's the interval between the aroma dropping off and the bouquet taking off. That's what we call the dumb stage. But it's actually, in a way, a good thing. It reminds us that wine is alive, that it's uh, like not vodka, right? It's a living product. That's what we love about the wine. But we've learned that if you are patient, it goes through that phase and it rises and it becomes totally different. Bottom line, we can take comfort in this. The wine's gonna come out of it. You're never quite sure when a wine will come out of the dumb phase. Uh, typically, it's not gonna take more than a few months because wine is constantly evolving, just like us.